Six out of every 10 infectious diseases are from a zoonotic source, which means they are spread from animals to humans. And COVID-19 is one of these. The scientific consensus is that it's a product of the wildlife trade for human consumption. When species are extracted from the wild, they're often caged and put into close quarters that are unsanitary and unhealthful. As in a wildlife market, they're placed in very confined quarters in close proximity to one another, where blood or other bodily tissues can interact, where disease could easily be transferred from one to another through bodily fluid transmission or other close contact. Whereas in the wild, these species would never be in that close proximity together. There are no legal structures in place for agents to check for zoonotic disease in wildlife imports into the United States. So for example, millions of frogs are imported as food but they are not checked for zoonotic disease. Wildlife entering the U.S. frequently originates from global disease hotspots, making the likelihood of COVID-19 or another virus in the future and a future pandemic to be quite high. By protecting the wild, we're protecting humans as well. And by ending the wildlife trade for human consumption, we're protecting human life. Take action now and support the Preventing Future Pandemics Act at wildlifeandhealthalliance.org.